Hello everyone, and today we are back for another Lumion Legacy PvP video, and we're going to be showcasing Livatross. I'm running a Nimble set with the Rageful Plushie item now. You don't have to run Rageful Plushie, I honestly don't even think it's the best item. You can run Clutch Plushie or Water Essence if you want to, but I'm going to be trying the Rageful Plushie set because after a bulk up, I should be bulky enough with my 115 base health to live a super effective hit on the melee side, so that's the strategy. Wave Wrecker, Mega Chomp, Primal Slash, and Bulk Up. You could replace Primal Slash for Phantom Slash if you're really worried about Cleone, but I have Primal Slash for those ancient types. I got Depths Born as my ability. The strength of your water types attacks are boosted by 25%. And the TP's 100 in the health, 8 in the range defense is for Protagon, 200 in the melee attack, 4 in the energy puts us at 250, and the 188 speed with Nimble makes you speed creep smart boots Ikazune by 1. So that's why I run a little bit more speed, is to speed creep boots Ikazune by one. This only outspeeds smart nimble Ikazune, not nimble boots Ikazune. But hey, it's something that could speed creep, and I think it's something that's worth investing into. Plus, I can outspeed other boots users that are lower than Ikazune too, so I think it's worth it. The team I have around Livatross is I got Gorgolem Defense Form for the Hazards game, quite specifically. Nova Dias as well, because it's OP. I got Silver Scash Stroke as a ranged tank. I got Obsidragon as a melee tank. I got Tyronix as a pivoter. And I got Zulong as my Boots Lumion. So this is a rather defensive heavy team with Livatross and Zulong. So we're going to see how Livatross does in this battle. Let's head right into the video. Alright, battle number one with Livatross. And let's see what you have. You have a full-on water type team. And I know why you have this team. It's because, just like with Behemoth, this one also has the Extreme Onslaught move. But I still don't think it works at this moment. So, we'll see how this goes. I'm actually very weak to it. So, gonna bring you. You are a must-bring. Wow, you are really a must-bring. This would be the one time where Phantom Slash would be good on this. But it's kind of how it is. We could bring Tyronix, because Tyronix looks good for this. I could bring Obsidragon for that. And I'll bring as my last Lumion. I can bring Nova DS, but I just don't know if I outspeed everything. I mean, a lot of these Lumions could be boots. There's a lot of potential boots Lumions. And he doesn't have hazard, so I can use that to my advantage. I'm going to lead off with Zulong and go for a Zipsat. He leads off with Cleone lead. Okay, Cleone lead, that's fine. I can go. Yeah, I, oh my goodness, I keep forgetting about Zulong's redesign. Go for the zip zap for free. Won't do a lot, but it's going to do a decent chunk. Critical hit. Nice. I'll go into Tyronix. No, I'll go Nova Dias, actually, because Nova Dias can Boiling Crest. If I go Nova Dias, I can Boiling Crest and nothing can swap in, so it's perfect. You go for Far Enchantment. Okay, big mistake. I can go for melee moves and we're good. So we go for the Haha -ha Boiling Crest. So, say goodbye to Cleone. Cleone is dead. That's massive. And that's why I love Nova Dias. Mixed attackers are MVP. But now, he could go Levatross or Cannibo. Which one would he go into out of the two? If he's going Cannibo, I know that's his boot slumming. If he goes Levatross, then I don't think it's Cannibo's boot if he goes Levatross. The thing is, Levatross doesn't Oko unless Extreme... Unless the extreme move works. And that's what he's relying on. He's relying on that move to work. And, he, and the reason why he's doing that is because, yeah, I'm weak. I, the far enchantment's up still. Yep, he went for a wave wrecker. Which only did 20 damage to Obsidragon. Oh, it's my sharp edge is set. W. W. Sharp edge is MVP. I, I was gonna grab my... Resilient set, but no, it's my Sharp Edges set. Huge dub. The one time we're having Sharp Edges is the MVP. I was- I did not mean to grab the Subsidiar but it worked out in this situation. Primal Slash, how much? Oh my god, that did no damage. That did legit no damage. Subsidiar you are a monster. I do want to be Slumber, though, because... That- There is that- There is a thing called Surkame that exists, so... I do gotta worry about that. Okay, yeah, he's just, he's, he's losing his, and he got a crit. Dang it, that sucks. I mean, I could be Slumber on the Sirkame, but it's just not great. 
Oh, yeah, Canapo's a thing, too. But I have boots, so I should be fine. Plus, my Labor Trash should outspeed it, too. So, I shouldn't be that worried against it, honestly. Basil do. Why, in this situation, you bring in Basil do? That's a little shocking, honestly. I could body crash you. And I will body crash you. What's the point? That does so much damage. Oh, you are Skellic. Skellix on your team. That's why you're doing this. Skellix on your team. Well, all right, Mr. Bezeldoo. I know what you're trying to do. If you click Zip Zap, this is awesome. Oh, I clicked Jet Screen. That did a decent chunk, too. But yeah, we can actually go for the Primal Slash. That should KO the Bethel do, right? It did. Not even close. You gotta be kidding me. Oh, and my steed and my speed has fallen. I guess he's wasting turns. He's wasting turns by staying in on Bezeldale. He's wasting Swift Swim turns on Skellic. Because like, that, that, I know that's what he's doing. But he's wasting Swift Swim turns. Yeah, you're wasting Swift Swim turns. I'm just gonna Primal Slash. Yeah, you're wasting turns. I think I could live one hit. Let's see, though. Thing is, I, I can't get the Rageful plushie because none of his Lumians can really... I don't think any of his Lumians had super effective moves. So I don't think I had any chance for to activate Rageful. You see, Scourge Skelet. Does, does that move work, Swift Swim? Primal? I love that. Oh yeah, I do! That's free damage. Epic free damage. Not a lot, though. And the rain stops. So, fortunately, the Swift Swim Skellic... Actually, I'll speed it without it. Let's go! But, unfortunately, it doesn't quite KO. And he did go for a Drudge. So, I'm gonna go into Obsidragon and sack it. Because I know at minus one, I'd be fine. So, if he... KO's Obsid. Yep, he, he KO's Obsid. I can go back into my... Oh, I got rid of it with Shark Engine! <laughs> oh my gosh, that wasn't even planned. I was just going to go back Levatross. Okay, I guess I can go back Levatross. So who's your last Lumi? Is your last one Sirkame? Or is it Cannibal? I assume it's Cannibal. I assume your last one's Cannibal. I'm not sure, though. I assume your last one's the Cannibal. Oh, it's this thing, which you're weak to Wavebreaker. So, goodbye, Behemora. Well, that was a good start for Levatross. I don't think it actually KOs Behemora. Behemora actually has a pretty high melee attack stat, or melee defense stat. So, I think that Behemora can live one hit, surprisingly. But, I can do a lot of damage. I don't think this thing has any speed set up. So, I should be fine. So I go for the Wave Wrecker, get it down to the yellow. Yep, get it down to the yellow. You go for Earthquake. Goodbye, Levitross. You're dead. Didn't get Rageful, but you're still able to do a lot of work. And then I can go Zulong, and now Zulong just works. Because I'm specialty boots. And that's why I always have a Boots Lumion. Because they absolutely carry your teams. There's an Elemental Burst, that's a GG's. Let's head into battle number two. Alright, battle number two with Lefatross, and let's see if we can get our Rageful plushie off. I might against Lachette. I might be able to get it up against the Lachette. And there isn't a Kazune. And since it is a Christmas one, it might not be nimble. That's something I could definitely utilize if I can. I don't know if I want to test it on turn one, though. Especially when there is a Yer snack. I'll bring you, because you can hit pretty much everything. Not gonna bring you because honestly, you look terrible. Besides the Valkyrie, you look terrible. Although, man, Valkyrie can be dangerous. I'll lead off with you because I can click Zip Zap on pretty much anything. And do I bring Tyronix or Obsidragon? I think Tyronix is a better bring. No, I, I, I want a safe swap in for the Lachette, so I'm bringing you because I think a safe swap in for Lachette's better. That'll be what I do. I'll lead off with Zulong on the Tyronic. Are you gonna light speed? Are you gonna light speed, right? I mean, if it does, it's not the end of the world. I'll just zip that. 
I'll just zip zap out. The Shronix is scary though. Okay, he doesn't. I get a little damage. A little. A little bit of damage. Okay, this is where I should have brought Chironix. Now this is where I should have brought Chironix and not Obsidragon. I didn't really think about Chironix, honestly. That's a big mistake on my part. And there's a peace of mind. Oh boy! There's a peace of mind. We're gonna go for a Primal Slash. We just gotta damage this thing. That's kind of all we can do now. I mean, two Primal Slashes are is enough. So yeah, he swaps. Thank gosh. Into Valkyrie. Eh, okay. That's fine. I mean, that, that still did a little bit of damage, but I have nothing to soak Flash and play. So he's just gonna go back to Ronix for free, isn't it? Do I just damage the Valkyrie? No, Boiling Press wouldn't do enough. I have to go Gargolem Defense. This sucks. This sucks. Thing is, if I can get Rageful off, I might be in a pretty good position. But I just gotta get it off. Okay, nope. Only went for Metal. That's fine. Only went for Metal Blast. That's perfectly okay for me. Okay, maybe not. I did a lot more damage than I anticipated. I'll place down a layer of Barbs and hope your Tronix isn't Gus. I don't know. By the way, he's playing that Tronix. I don't think it's a defensive one. I, I mean, it could be. Peace of mind? I don't know. It could be defensive. Go back. I gotta go back, you. It's my only swap in for Tronix because I didn't bring my own. Okay, he has a Gus Tronix. Well, okay, good to know. I know that you're Gus now. I can go for a Primal Slash on you. And I kind of don't care if you go back Valkyrie. Stanzi goes Itka. Okay, perfect. Perfect. Oh my gosh, why did you make that swap? Why did you make that swap? Why did you make that swap? He predicted me going for the Fire Titan move on the Valkyrie. That's what he predicted, but... Well, come on, if I just chip the Valkyrie, I'm in a decent position anyway. Problem is, is that Flash and Fleece kind of free, so I will Boiling Crush this turn, actually. Okay, he's Boots. He's a Boots Valkyrie. Ow! Now it's in light speed range! Well, that did a lot of damage. Okay, okay, okay. Okay! Lavatross and Zulong can outspeed you. Do I lose? You. Go Lavatross and try to let Lavatross beat Tyrannus. I think that's the best option I have. Or, I sack the fence for him. I don't know what the play is. I'll go 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 on the fence. I think I have an idea what I want to do. This will be what I do. I'll get a proc. Range the attack, fallen, no big deal. Now, I'm gonna predict the Tyronix coming back in. Yep, he went back Tyronix. Yep, he went back Tyronix. Now, I gotta rely on Levatross to two-shot it. Problem is, I won't be able to activate that Rageful Plushie. But, Tyronix can't do that much against me neither, so this is good. If I could two-shot Tyronix, I'll be in a good spot. Which I... Okay, no, I can't because it's Milkshake. Dang it, why are you Milkshake? Flash and Flea for free. Ow! You don't have to crit me! Well, that sucks. Really sucks. Oh, uh, it could have been nice for you, too, but nope. Well, I guess I'll go up Citragon, then. I guess I'll go up Citragon. Dang it. I mean, Fadeaway is free, but I get to chip him on the Fadeaway. Ah ha 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 ha! Get chipped on the Fadeaway, bud. It's okay, he gets chipped on the Fadeaway. He goes back to Ronix. I mean, oh, he goes Falkyrie. Yeah, because Boots Valkyrie's dangerous. Everything dies. Fun fact, everything dies. Do I sack Nova? Is Nova the play? Is sacking Nova the play? Or do I sack the fence for? I think I sack the fence for. I want to see if your Tyronix is... I doubt that your Tyronix is that ability. I'll just mudslide. Yep, he stayed in this time. Oh, Flash and Flea. This is gonna be rough. I don't- I have nothing that can soak Flash and Fleas, because I didn't bring Tyronix. I mean, I get the damage his Tyronix, and we actually get to see if he is... Judging by the way he's playing, I don't think his Tyronix is Reaper. So, I'm willing to stay in and do some- some shenanigans. I got him low now. 
I got him low enough for Lagvatross to defeat it. Goes back Falkyrie. He's really relying on Falkyrie to win. I don't want to forfeit, of course. Uh, there's a Lashank. Ooh, I'll go for a Mudslide. He's playing Flash and Flea. I hate that I didn't bring Tyranix. That's why I hate not bringing Tyranix. I always try to bring something with immunity, because otherwise I get Flash and Flea spammed. I don't know why I did not bring it. It's so stupid. Okay, that's fine then. I'm fine that he went this thing, because I can go Lavatross. I can go Lavatross. Dude, I could go for bulk up here. I could go for bulk up, but that's way too obvious. I don't live a T-Thrash. I don't live a T-Thrash at plus two, I don't think. I definitely don't live a T-Thrash at plus two. I just know that I don't. Let's try it, though. Let's try it. Let's try it. Might as well try. Oh, slap down. Okay, didn't do as much as I thought. Well, we'll just attack you then. Mega Chomp. Well, I'm at plus two. So this is going to do a decent chunk. Rama's Lachette is mainly, very melee bulky. That did no damage. How does that do no damage? And it, come on! You have to critical hit me! You just have to crit me! You have to crit me! Thanks! You're hilarious! You're hilarious, Lachette! So my showcase Livian gets critted twice! I see! I see how it is, Mr. Lachant. I see. Now, what do I do against Falkyrie? Oh, wait, nothing. Well, please sag Lachant and don't go... Tr Actually, if it goes Tronix, it's not the end of the world. I think I two-shot it with Boiling Press. Let's see. He's really testing. He, he does not know what to do. He doesn't want to go Falkyrie because Boiling Press. Anytime Novadius comes in the field, it gets a KO, I think. He doesn't want to sack Boots Falkyrie. Boots Falkyrie is his way to win. What is his last? What are your last? If you do go Tyrannus, don't tell me that you're also Light Speed Ray. Don't tell me that you're also Light Speed. Don't tell me that you are Light Speed Ray. You are, aren't you? No, I tried predicting. I get a burn at least, but that does not help at all. It doesn't help at all. Goes back Valkyrie. He goes back Valkyrie. How do I beat Valkyrie? I can't. Oh. Well, too long. You're the way to win then. You gotta win it for me. Cause if you don't, there's no chance. Thank God I'm the only one that runs boots Zulong. Now, you have three left. I don't think he's even showed his last Lumion yet. Ikazune, Valkyrie, Tyranix, Lachette. What's your last one? Tyranix is low. I should outspeed his Tyranix. I mean, I should outspeed your Tyranix. Right? 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 I do. Goodbye, Tyranix. Okay, okay, okay. Who's your last two Lumians? I know Lashent's one of them. Umbrat's the other one. Okay, Umbrat's the other one. I'll go for Burrow. You go for a Raging Tackle? Ow. Tons of damage. Shade Shell? Ow. Ow. Mega Ow. Really big Ow. But you also ouch yourself, too. So you really... That's a lot of ouches. Ouch for me. Ouch for you. Lots of ouches. Yeah, he's just raging tackling, hoping for the crit, but he's not getting one, thankfully. I think this KO's it. I think we could win with Obsidragon. Yeah, I think I think the sharp edge is Obsidragon yet again's gonna win the game. This thing is popping off! See? Sharp edges is actually okay. I'll go for body crash. Body crash. And that's a forfeit. Let's head into battle number three. Alright, we're into battle number three with Flavatross, and I did have another battle! 
But let's just say that Lumion Legacy decided to not let the battle start. So, yeah, that's unfortunate. I needed to relog, but we're finally into another battle. I'm not going to fall for the same bait this time. I'm bringing something to stop Luminami from clicking Flash and Play. And you clicking Flash and Play, too. Plus, you extremely wall El Iguana, so you're, you are kind of a must bring. Uh, as for everything else, I could bring Tyronix for that thing and Frost Beam it. And, and you for the Pyrolin. I'll bring you for the Pyrolin, because you're kind of a must bring. I want to bring Zulong. Zulong can be very good. I don't think I'm going to bring it. I think I'm going to hold it back. I'm going to lead off with Tyronix and try to get a Flash and Flea up. That'll be what I do. I'll try to get a Flash and Flea up. He leads with Luminami. Alright, that's fine. I could spite you. And you can't Flash and Flea out. So that is a free spite if I ever saw one. That's a free spite. I mean, the Luminami might try to 1v1 me. Which, I mean, some Luminamis can. But I think I'll be okay. Okay, it's ranked. We're good. Yeah, it does no damage. We just spite it, and we just... Do we click Flash and Play, or do we go for the predicted play here? I think I just go for the predicted... I think... No, Spite's still the best play anyway. Yeah, ha, ha, ha. Soak this Flash and Play. That's good. Two Spites to... Nope. I guess we won't get two Spites to start. Instead, I'll predict the... Baneki coming in on my Flash and Play. I mean, it would have not done that much extra damage, but it would have been nice to chip the Luminami for later. You're going Baneki. Nope, you win El Iguana, actually. You win El Iguana. That's good. Be a Frost Beam. I actually did a decent chunk. I wish I spited. Uh, I'll go for Flash and Play. Yep, you went for a taste. Dang it, I knew you were going to do that. Thing is, I didn't want to go in the Gastric right away. But at least it's the Tyronix being case and not anything else. So I will legit take it. I'll just go into you and I'll just Soul Burst right away. Because I want to have a free swap in from not getting case. Oh, I could have just went into my, whatchamacallit? I could have just went into my, what is that Luvian called? I forgot. My Gargolem Defense. What am I doing? I could have went Gargolem Defense to stop the taste. I think I'll be fine now. It goes into Pyrolin. That's awesome, actually, because sap planting Pyrolin is really good for me. I could sap plant the Pyrolin and then poison the Pyrolin. And then I could swap into Livatross and do something. This is really good, actually. Getting a sap plant off. See, even if you are volcanic, that's a Soul Burst Gastro kit will live well. That's just if I don't miss the sap plant. Which I don't miss the sap plant. Awesome. So, Sap Play is going to be Clutch. I can go for a Poison. Poison here on the Burn Up. Okay. You go for a Burn Up to get rid of my Sap Play. Bruh! Hey, you get poisoned at least. So, you're poisoned. Okay, now what do I do against Pyrolin? It's going to Burn Up again, I think. I know what I need to do. I need to go back to Ronix and then I need to Flash and Flee again. That's the play to do here. Fire Breath? Yeah, I didn't want to go into the other thing. I can rest on either El Iguana or Illuminami, so this is fine. I can go for another Flash and Flee on the Pyrolin. And then go into Levatross for free. That's going to be the strat here. I don't want my Levatross good and kit. That's why I went Tyronix. Okay, you went for Shrewd. Don't get Para. I don't. Awesome. Flash and Flee. Tons of damage. And Levatross, you're in. And there's nothing the Pyrolin can do about it. In fact, I might just go for a Mega Chomp to predict Luminami coming in. Yep. There's no reason why not to predict Luminami coming in. So I, I will just Mega Chomp to predict Luminami. This is perfect. Yeah, you went Luminami, didn't you? What? 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 What was the point of that? You're also weak to water. Have a free swap in and a Luma? I don't get it. I don't get that. I've got Guard Drone. Which kind of sucks, actually, for my team. Everything's weak to it. And it can click Accelerate. It can really click Accelerate, too. Do I just Wave Wrecker it? Do I just click Wave Wrecker? Do I outspeed a plus to Accelerate? 
Would I live a Thunderstrike? I'll Wave Wrecker. I do outspeed it. This will do a ton. Yeah, it does a ton. It does go for an Accelerate. I'm gonna, I'm gonna trust my gut and stay in. I'm gonna trust my gut. I'll trust my gut. I still outspeed Gargerode! Oh my gosh! Lyvatross is so fast! It still outspeeds an Accelerate Gardrone. That's insane! Now he has to go Luminami. That's awesome. And I can go into my Tyronix. Problem, I'm out of energy. Which is kind of a problem. And I got him. At least I got the Luma, so it can't swap. I now gotta go for a rest, because I need to get my energy back. So, I'll go for a rest. The thing is, I think I could have lived a Thunderstrike, actually. Which is kind of crazy, considering Gardrone has 130 ranged attack. But, it also isn't Stab, neither. So, yeah. I'm gonna go for a Flash and Flea again. Because I want Pivot. He stays in, goes for Tsunami. He's trying to get para he's trying to para hacks me, which he hasn't got the para full para yet, which is kind of crazy. I can go for I mean Lavatross is kind of free. Lavatross is kind of free, honestly. Problem is Luminami's run shape pearls. And none of my none of my other moves can hit it, so I'm gonna go for bulk up. I mean, what other move can Luminami hit you with? Let's be honest. Do you have Thunder Trump? You do go for Flash and Flay, but now your Luminami's low, and I get a bulk up off. Still haven't activated my Rageful, though. And he goes into Carpantis. Way out speed. I outspeed ya. Wave Wrecker. Will plus one Wave Wrecker be enough? We'll see. It isn't. Gosh dang it, it isn't. And he went for bulk up, too. I think I could live one battering ram, but that does kind of suck. I wish I KO'd it in one hit. The thing is, Lavatross only has 100 melee attack. There's the Battering Ram. It does an Okome, because Lavatross is actually kind of bulky. 115 melee attack can do a lot of good stuff. There's the Luminami, who's low on energy. But I'm also almost out of... There's the Daze. I'm going to go for a rest, because you're almost out. I'm going to go for a rest, because I kind of have to. Maybe I can get a flinch, or I could hit himself. But he doesn't. But he just waits. So, he could definitely live a Luminami from plus one. But, they should still do a lot of damage. And if he swaps into Garbantis, it should be fine. You're Shake Pearl, though. Nope, you're not Shake Pearl. Come on. Hey! Lavatross is going to win it for us, I think. Mega Chop again. Yep, the Mega Chop Days Hacks, ladies and gentlemen. Thankfully, I didn't get Tay. So, yep, there's a... I know what he has left. We win. There's nothing he can do. We win this because I outspeed Garbantis and I outspeed Pyrolin. Lavatross is going to win because of that daze. Lavatross is going to win this. Lavatross is going to win this. And there's nothing he can do about it. It's because Lavatross is so fast. <laughs> GG's and oh my goodness. So, yeah. Lavatross can prove that he's pretty good. Again, I don't think the Rachel plushie is the best item to run on it. I tried to make it work. Didn't really activate it, but it's kind of how it is. Like, I mean, it has Water Dark. It does have Water Dark Offense, which is good. And you could run Pri Phantom Slash over Primal if you want to really hit Cleone and your soul. So, yeah. Lavatross is honestly pretty decent. I don't think it's the best Lumion in the world, but it's definitely very solid. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see y'all all later. Bye-bye!